Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies. In today's class, I'm going to show you how to install MySQL on Windows. So for that, open your browser. So open any of the browser and um, so this is Google, inside Google, type in download MySQL. Okay, and uh, the first result itself is the one that we are looking for. So you just need to go into mysql.com downloads. Just click on this link. Okay, uh, so if you're directly going into mysql, uh, so then you need to go into this particular downloads option. So since we already have set download MySQL, so I am directly going, I have come to this particular page. So now what we'll do is we'll, we'll come down, we'll uh, scroll down and you can see uh, there is an option here, like which is MySQL community GPL downloads. Okay, so click on this. Okay, uh, so in here, you can see that uh, MySQL community downloads, you can see that there are many options over here. So I'll be clicking on MySQL community server. Okay, so just click on this option, which is MySQL community server. So in here, so uh, in MySQL community downloads, so you can see that select operating system. So it is already uh, there. Uh, so by default, it is showing Microsoft Windows. If your operating system is other than Windows, then you can select from this particular list. So I'm selecting Microsoft Windows and scroll down. Now click on this go to download page. Okay. Uh, so in here, like I want to download this MySQL installer community, which is of 439 MB. So this is the size of it. So I want to download this. Click on download. Okay. So as you click on download, so you can see that it's asking you to log in or sign up for a free account if you want to do the downloading procedure. So if you don't want, you can see an option here at the bottom, which says, no thanks, just start my download. So I'm just clicking on it. So I don't want to create an account. So I just have clicked, no thanks, just start my download. So it will take some time for you to download because it is of 400 MB. So let me wait for it to download. So my downloading is almost uh, going to finish. Yeah, my SQL is there in the downloads. So now I'm double clicking on it. So it is preparing to install. So uh, do you want this app to make changes to your device? Click on S. So click on S once again. So you can see my SQL installer 1.6 started off. So this is the first step that we need to do, choosing a setup type. Okay, so there are multiple options here, but I'm choosing on the custom option here and click on next. So here you are, uh, you need to customize like whatever you want, you need to add. So I want my SQL server. I want to add SQL server. So I'll be clicking on SQL server 8.0 and then click on OK. Okay. Select this and click on this right arrow here. So which will take you to the right window. So all the products that are now in the right window will be installed. So click on this particular arrow. Um, so then from the applications, I require SQL Workbench. Um, so click on this SQL, my SQL Workbench and click on this arrow mark. So this Workbench has come on the onto the right side. Okay, so if you want MySQL shell, um, I am going to add this MySQL shell also. So I now I want all these products to be installed. 
so i'm going to click on so don't click on anything over here don't check any options just add the products that you require and then click on next uh, so we can see that mysql server so this is check requirements wherein like whatever you want it will take it from the internet and it will install it automatically. So for that, you just need to click on execute. So as you execute, you need to make sure that your internet facility is on because it will be taking all the requirements from the internet. Okay, so from the website, so it requires my Microsoft Visual Services and all that. So it is installing all that from the internet. So make sure that your internet is there. So it also will show you the status over here. So once it is 100% done, you will be able to see, okay, so this kind of uh, dialog box. So I'm saying I agree to the license terms and conditions. So it requires Microsoft Visual C++. So it has taken it from the internet. So you just need to click on install. So Microsoft Visual C++ will install. Okay, setup successful, close this, and you will be able to see this uh, check marks over here before the product. It means that all the requirements have been successfully taken from the internet. So click on next, okay, and then you can see that all these are ready to install. So you just need to click on execute to make them, to install them. So I'm clicking on execute. So you'll be seeing the progress over here. So installation progress. So once it is 100% done, you'll be able to see the check mark over here once again. Yes, uh, so my, my SQL server is installed. So now it is installing Workbench. So my SQL Workbench is also successfully installed. So now it is installing my SQL shell. Okay, so now that all the three products are installed, click on next. So you can see that it is saying product configuration and product is ready to configure. So click on next. So you can see that uh, the config type is development computer. And you can see the port number, which is 3306, which is the default port number. So keep it as it is. And then click on next. I'm not making any changes here, the type and uh, networking. I'm just keeping the same things that came along, okay, as default. But if you want to change the port number, you can change it, but uh, don't forget to remember. So click on next. Um, so use strong password encryption for authentication. So um, just click on next. Okay, so you just need to give the uh, root password and you just need to repeat the password so remember that the password you just have to remember it um so just uh not only typing here you just need to remember the password so i'm just giving a password um uh, and uh, you just need to make sure that the password is strong okay um so then uh, if you want to add some users you can add the users and then you can give the name of the users and then you can also describe the role of the particular user. So as of now, I'm not adding any users. I'm just clicking on next. So it is saying configure MySQL server as a Windows service and it is already checked. So keep it as it is. And then it is saying Windows service name. So MySQL AD is the service name. And you can see there is a checkbox over here. So which is already checked, which means start the MySQL server at the system startup, okay? um so we'll keep it as it is all the options will keep it as it is and click on next okay so now apply configuration so to apply the configuration you just need to click on the execute button click on the execute button and all this will configure for us it will take a, a couple of seconds to actually configure so all the configurations have been applied now just click on finish you if you just read this the configuration for my sql server was successful click finish to continue so click finish 
and then you can see that the product configuration so this is our server and then uh, configuration complete uh, so just click on next okay uh, so it is saying copy log to the clipboard and all that we don't want to do anything but uh, just take a note at this particular uh, um, uh, thing over here which is the uh, installation complete so the in installation procedure have been completed okay so just click on finish and then your installation is finished and you can see as your installation finished there are two things that opened up for us one is mysql workbench okay so this is mysql workbench which opened up for us and also the second thing is which is mysql shell see in my mysql shell it is saying not connected to connect it to the server you just need to say slash connect root at the rate local host and then it is asking me to provide the password so uh, the password that we have given so just type in the password and save password for this if you want to you can just click on s so i said s um, so now it is connected okay fine so if you want to just uh, see how it is connected so connection id is 13 and you can see the current user is root at the rate localhost and then the port number and all that is given so i just need to type slash and quit uh, so to come out of the sql shell so now i came out of the sql shell to show you the command line so go to the search and uh, type in my sql my sql so this is command line client okay so you just need to click on this one my sql 8.0 command line client okay so as you click on it so it will be showing enter password so just enter the password that you have given so now you are connected to the server okay so just uh, uh, you can get started by creating a database so just uh, type in create uh, type in the command so i'm saying uh, create database and i'm naming the database as student so the name of the database is student and put a semicolon at the end and hit enter so now it is showing me query okay one row affected okay so if you just wanted to see the databases so i just uh, will be typing the command which is show databases okay so it will show you all the databases that are available uh, so the information scheme uh, schema and mysql and all these are already there uh, and the new one created is the student database and you can see that the student database is now added into the database um, our databases and uh, inside the student database you can create the tables so again you just need to follow the commands for creating the uh, tables in the student database uh, so to come out of this particular command line client i just need to type in quit uh, as i type quit you can see that this command line um, has now closed for you so the mysql uh, mysql shell okay so mysql shell is something which is command line this is the bench over here so as of now we didn't make any connection so i just need to make the connection so this is the gui version of mysql so i just need to click on plus over here so as you click on the plus so the connection will start for you so set up new connection so just give some name to the connection so i'm saying it is my connection um, and then it is showing you the host name uh, and then it's giving you the port number and um, you just need to uh, store in vault you just need to enter the password so the password that you we already have entered during installation so the same password so I have typed the password and click on OK. Um, so then um, you can just click on OK. So as you do, you can see that my connection, so the new connection has started for you. Just double click on it. Okay. So as you double click on it, uh, so this is your MySQL GUI uh, environment workbench. So wherein you can create your tables and all that you can do over here. Okay. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.